Hi everyone, today is March 2nd, I'm David Reeder, and we are Off Deck. The Stanford women put up an incredible performance this past weekend at the Women's Pac-12 Championships in Federal Way, Washington. The Cardinals set five American records over the four-day meet, and they will have the top seed in 10 out of 13 individual events at the NCAA Championships this month. Today on the show, we're going to bring back some of our favorite interviews with Stanford swimmers and a coach from the final night of Women's Pac-12s. First up, we have Allie Howe, who broke a 15-year-old American record in the 100 backstroke. Next up will be Leah Neal, a two-time Olympian who just competed in her final Pac-12s. And lastly, Stanford head coach Greg Meehan. All three re reflected on their accomplishments at the conference meet, but explained that their work is far from over. Each interview is about five minutes long. Hope you guys enjoy. Well, the new American record holder in the 100-yard backstroke. So let's, let's talk about that swim. Did you think you could go a 49-6? I definitely did not think I could go 49.6. I knew coming out of my morning swim that, you know, if I really had a great race and went out fast, I'd have a good chance at breaking 50, but I definitely did not think I was going to go 49.6. That was definitely a huge shock. Yeah. Knowing how long that record had been around, who said it? What did that kind of mean to you when you realized that you'd broken it? I still don't think it's really hit me yet, kind of like what's happened, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy. Even just having Terry congratulate me on the 200 back podium with breaking the record, it's crazy just to think that, you know, I broke a record that was set when I was about five years old, and that's crazy. I don't think it's hit me yet, and I don't know when it's going to hit me if it does. <laughs> yeah. um, so, like, when you touched the wall and saw the time, I know it took a second to come up on the board, but, like, did you kind of, did you realize that that was, like, correct at first? I didn't really see the time, because they only show you the second 50. Right. I heard a lot of cheering, so I thought maybe I did pretty well, but... Um, I was definitely in shock to see the time on the board. Mm -hmm. What did Kathleen Baker say to you after? She seemed pretty excited for you too. Yeah, yeah. She just said, great job. That's such a huge accomplishment. It was so nice for her to, mm -hmm. you know, congratulate me. And she had an awesome swim tonight. She's had a great meet so far. So that was really nice of her. Yeah. Um, I know you you and Janet are pretty close. You're from a lot of the same events. You're on a lot yeah. of relays together. <laughs> so what's kind of your interaction like when you're in an event like that? And you do pretty well. She's not quite as, as, as good as she was in the morning. Yeah, I think... We're always going to be best friends. I think we have a really great relationship where we're always really supportive of one another. And even when we're racing each other, we're always really supportive of one another and we push each other. So I think, you know, even though Janet swims, I know at night probably weren't as good as she wanted them to be. But I mean, she went 50 twice right. in the 100 fly and 100 back in the morning. And she's been so close to that 50 barrier for so long. So it's great to see her do that. And then to go 50s again at night and then to also swim on the relay. It's a lot of swims for her in one day. And I'm really proud of her. Um, then you had to come back in the 200 back today. Um, heard a little bit there at the end. Um, so what? where were you coming into, into today? Was it kind of trying to calm down from last night still? Or were you yeah. very much focused on the two back? Yeah, it definitely is a little hard to calm down from last night, but definitely just trying to, you know, regain my focus, kind of work on my longer backstroke um, tempo and speed. Um, just really trying to take it, you know, one race at a time, just really focus on the prelims, do what I need to do to set myself up well for finals, and then just going forward at night and seeing what happens. How are your backstrokes different between the 50, 100, and 200? Sorry, what? How are your backstrokes different between the 50, 100, 200? Yeah. The 50 for me is just always a total blur. I okay. always just kind of, you know, I always say I like kick and flail. Um, so I always just try to, you know, kick as hard as I can underwater. 100 is kind of the same thing, just really pushing the underwaters. 200 is probably the most different for me just because it's a lot more swimming. Mm -hmm. um, but backstroke pull is definitely something that I've worked on. So I really just try to, you know, keep my tempo up and really get a good catch in the water. Yeah. So you guys are about to win the Pac-12 Championship. How are you guys feeling? I think we're really excited. I think as a whole, I think everyone on our team individually and on Relays has had a really great meet. And I think we're really excited to see our hard work pay off. And I think it also just makes us really excited for what's to come in a few weeks at NC2As. How do you prevent your, your team and yourself from getting a little complacent? Because obviously, riding a high right now, but how do you make sure that that continues for three weeks from now? Yeah, I think at the beginning of the year, you know, Greg and our team kind of talked about NC2As being our team goal. And I think just kind of using this meet to really prep for that while, you know, focusing on things in the moment and doing well here, he's also just keeps reminding us that, you know, NC2As is the focus and we need to find ways to be better. So I think, you know, we're going to come back this week, have a really good week of training again, kind of ramp things up and then kind of come back down as we get closer to NCs and really get pumped up for that. Yeah. Greg said that maybe you're not all the way down here. There might be a little bit more rest in the tank. Yeah. How, how much do you feel that and do you know that that's, that there is more in the tank? Yeah, it's definitely exciting. Um, I know with especially my 200 IM and 200 back, there's definitely things I still really want to work on for NC2As. And even in my 100 back, there's things I still think could be better. So I think it just makes me really excited for the few weeks to come, especially 
actually training yeah. and just kind of working on those little things. What can be better than 100? I thought my distance underwater could be a little better. That's something I've been working on. Um, obviously, having Janet there in practice to push me, she's great underwater. So if I can just you know keep pushing those underwaters, I think hopefully it can go another best time. Yeah, should be fun in a few weeks. Yeah. Ali, appreciate your time. Congrats Thank you. Record and we'll see you in any. Thanks. Leah Neal, uh, just went on your first conference championship as a team after four years. You've been right there all, pretty much all those years. So what, what does this all mean to you? Um, it's pretty, it's like really exciting to like finally win like mm -hmm. a big championship as a team. Um, I'm so glad that like I got to experience that and be a part of that uh, with my final year swimming for Stanford. Um, and I'm just uh, really like thankful for, to have like just to be a part of such a um, great, like extraordinary team. Right. How much did it mean to you to be able to swim the anchor lane there on that last relay? Um, I think it kind of brings it full circle because, like, when I was growing up, like doing age group swimming, like I always anchored relays. Um, so that kind of like brought back like a little memory of that, um, and I think. I do tend to really like anchoring relays because I just uh, leave, I, I don't overthink like I usually do and mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm just trying to get my hand on the wall for my team. So. How, was this season any more challenging than the other three just because you were coming back from an Olympics? Um, no, I think if anything, um, it just made me more motivated. Mm -hmm. uh, to go into this year and I think everything just like works out with timing too like um, coming off of the Olympics and like not doing as well as I had hoped and then also like coming into my final year, year at Stanford and swimming collegiately I just really wanted to um, leave everything in the pool I've been having like my best year of training like thus far and um, really just trying to finish off with a bang yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so how is this year's team different um, the presence of Simone and Katie included. So how did that all change from from last year's team to this year's team? Uh -huh. um, I think the team dynamic always changes with like the seniors sure. graduating and the incoming freshmen uh, coming in. And, um, and but it's always like a lot of fun, and we're always pushing each other. Like I uh, realized like just how how strong the team Stanford was like ever since my freshman year, and like struggling to like keep up with people and like make kick intervals. Um, and that's still the case now. Yep. <laughs> um, just like everything's a little faster, and um, I think like what plays our advantage is that we have just so many like really solid swimmers, and um, not only do we get along and like we're all friends or like we're sisters or each other's family, but we also are like all like um, inherently competitive. So we're pushing each other in the pool, and then we're just like pushing each other to get better. Mm -hmm. What was that moment like on the bulkhead with Greg at, during the senior ceremony? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it was cool. I, I, I don't know. It was weird because like the past three years, um, like my fellow like classmates, like 2017 mm -hmm. classmates and I, uh, just like watched the seniors like go up there and get recognized, and we're we've always just been like, oh, that's like we're so far from that, and then like it finally was our turn to like stand up there. Um, and usually, like, we get sentimental, like, I get sentim sentimental, but um, I think we were just, like, all really taking in the experience, and mm -hmm. with this being our last Pac-12s, and, like, having us, having been through all of it together, and uh, just really celebrating together. Yeah. Um, so this being your final c collegiate season, has it been difficult to think about, oh, I have to think, think about my future now, and how much have you thought about that, or have you really tried to put that on the back burner? Uh, yeah, I haven't really given it much thought, um, like, it is, like, in the back of my mind, but I'm, like, first and foremost, like, focusing towards, mm -hmm. it was Pac-12s, so and now Pac-12s so is done, and now, like, we're gonna get back to work and, like, work up and then taper back down again for NCs, um, so just really focusing on the collegiate season, and then after that, um, like most immediately I'm looking forward to the summer mm -hmm. and then just like taking it one thing at a time because I don't know what I'm going to do after the summer. So. Okay. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. So awesome meet obviously like you guys really didn't have a single bad session. Your single favorite moment from, from this whole meet? There were some good uh, ones. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know there were so many but the one that like for sure stands out is Allie Howe's 100 back and breaking the American record. Um, 
that well, that was the most emotional one for me because like when she touched and I saw like she went 49-6 like pretty well under the American record too right. like such a insane record like after 15 years um, like I just thought back to the beginning of the season when we're all talking about our goals and like she stood up and said that she wanted to break the American record and I was just like she said she wanted to break it and she did it like that's just so baller like that was awesome yeah yeah um, yeah admittedly pretty cool how far has she come in your opinion since she was a freshman when she was kind of the the piece on that relay and now she's like the strength in that relay yeah, yeah. Um, she's always been like an, an outstanding swimmer. Um, I think she. It took her a while to like realize it herself, and I think now, um, especially with a swim like that, like you can't not have confidence. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's just like uh, bodes really well for her. Um, and I'm just like really excited for her, and um, yeah, really excited to see what is to come for her as well. Yeah. Well, Leah, congratulations Thank you. Uh, on the championship, and we'll see you in a few weeks in Indy. Thank you. Thanks. Coach, uh, your second Pac-12 championship, how does this one feel different than your first year, uh, four years ago? Yeah, a totally different experience, I think, with a different group. Um, both very special, but for, for different reasons. And um, I think at that point, it was, uh, you know, the end of the first year, and it was just really exciting to, to kind of get that Pac-12 championship. And, uh, this year, it's more of a kind of a byproduct of just how strong our group is, how great our coaching staff is. I mean, just Tracy and Joey and, and our trainers and Coach Hans back home in the waiting room. It's more of a byproduct of that and, and just a step along the way as we kind of continue our path uh, right. towards Indianapolis. Is there a reason behind Leah going last on that relay tonight or being her last uh, Pac-12 swim? Uh, yeah, we like to put her last. She's one of the best relay swimmers in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, she's just done some amazing anchor legs for us, and that's kind of the relay the order that we've had all year. And I think there's a lot to be said for having a senior on the end of the last relay on the last day. Yeah. What can you say about just all she's done and finally getting to win, you know, a Pac-12 championship, but all she's done for Stanford for swimming in, in her career? Yeah, we've talked about that a lot privately this year and just about you know she's really the the person that got this thing going five years ago when she made a commitment as a as an olympian coming out of high school to to stanford into our program and uh, when she made that decision she really legitimized us as as coaches and as a program to say you know this is this is a, an option for people and um we're so grateful that uh that she did that because then she made it okay for the Alleys and the Janets and the Simones and the Katies and the Katies and the Meg everybody to just kind of follow along and um, that she really put us on this path. So for her to, to win here as a senior and uh, knowing that you know her her best swimming is still in front of her, we're really excited for her. What can you say about Simone where she is? Uh, I think the most impressive swim, honestly, being the 140 and the 203. Um, but where is she right now, and how is she gearing up for her second NCAAs? Yeah, I, th I think there's some room there. Uh, I, you know, I think she made a couple of mistakes that we've sort of talked about, and, and how she can be better in a few weeks. And um, she had a really strong meet. I mean, yeah. won three events and had to beat some really great competitors in all three. And she was on four of our relays that won, and um, with, it just was awesome. And you know, I just. You can point to, to one person or, or two people, but the reality is that you know we were great this weekend yeah. because of A to Z, and it, it didn't really matter what the what distance event or sprint event. And I just I'm really proud of the group, but also knowing that you know, we're we're continuing on here in a couple of weeks. Why didn't you guys want to go in the water to celebrate? Uh, you know, typically it's not really a Pac-12 thing. Okay. Actually, we we didn't go in in 13. I don't think anybody went in in 14, 15. I know USC didn't go in last year. It's kind of a uh, I think the conference understands that this is a big deal, but there's a bigger deal to, to still kind of go get. Yeah. Um, so, 2013 was your last title. Was Leah a freshman in 14? She was. So, so, this is for your three Olympians, this is their first conference title, right? It is. I mean, yes. they had every other award under the side. Yeah. And yeah. This is their first. It is. And we've, you know, we've been, we've been second here the last three years and, and actually been really good here the last three years. Just, you know, not quite good enough. Um, 
but it's uh, it's really cool for them. You can see the excitement, you know, and that's that says a lot because this is their. We talked about the other day. This is their opportunity to, to be together for um, the last time as this this group competes. You know, the, the group gets a little smaller in NCAAs, and while that's really fun, it's it's not everybody. We'll feel their presence, but you know, they're not all going to be there, and so to see them enjoy that moment with their friends is great. Well, it's, I mean, it's hard to find something that they have not accomplished in their on their resume. This is it. You know, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, and it was. It was, you know, you watch them, the college kids. They I mean, are. they just, you know, I've got two in college. You just watch them, it's like the same stuff. Yeah, they're just, they're having fun with their friends. Yeah. It just happens to be around the swim meet. <laughs> So that's Greg Meehan, head coach of the Stanford Cardinal, who hopes to lead his team to a national championship in two weeks' time. That's it for today's episode of Off Deck. I'm David Reeder, and we'll see you guys next week.